Leo, this is your September tarot reading. Now, things have been tumultuous, to say the least, and I don't think they get any better. But I can see light at the end of the tunnel for you. It's all about long-term savings. All about long-term savings. Putting back by for the future. If we look at the past, you have been brave, bold, but maybe rushed into things a little. Rushed into doing things maybe that you shouldn't. I'm not sure. <coughs> right now is a time for celebration. Probably a celebration with family. There are probably things which... Things which... Uh, yeah, you have call to celebrate. Good things have happened to you, I think. And in the future, we have many blessings and happy families. So it looks pretty good. In order to get to where you need to go, you're having to work with others. But, because the outcome isn't necessarily a good outcome, I suspect this working with others isn't actually getting you very far. You're having to work with others, but you're not achieving a great deal. I think it's the sort of work with others that, you know, you can't possibly do it by yourself. You know, you have your specialisms. They have theirs, and you can't do it by yourself. Now, if you could be a little bit more laid back, a little bit more contemplative and look at what's going on I think you'd be less stressed out by the outcome or the outcome is as much a psychological outcome as a physical outcome and it wouldn't seem to matter so much so what is the outcome well the outcome is maybe feeling all alone but almost certainly a feeling of poverty it's probably fleeting, and as I say, it's probably more a feeling than anything else. Now, I have to say, I'm a Leo, and I know what this is. So, forgive me as we go through the interpretation, but me telling you all about what it means to me. But I, it is by way of illustration for you. I mean, you won't be the same circumstances as me, but at least it'll help you get your head around what this means. I'm not particularly phased by this card. It might might not feel good in September. You might be worried. But, you know, the advice is to be a bit more laid back and contemplative. And long term, you know, you, yeah, you're going to have happy times, you know. So it's a sort of a reading of, of happiness, of joy, but also a degree of despair. So September is sort of a microcosm of life, isn't it? Let's look at it in detail. The overall energy is that of the Seven of Pentacles. This is about sort of long-term savings, investing for the future, taking a long-term view of things. So, well, I, I've said I, I know what it's about in terms of me, you know. Right now, I'm claiming my pensions. Uh, in fact, by this date, you know, by um, September, I should have received them. But I know I won't. I started the process in February. I, I, I cannot believe how long it takes to do everything in the UK these days. You know, my passport took me five months. You know, it's, it's just, well... I, I, I've just received my the estate of my parents and that took nearly two years to get after their deaths, you know. It's just beyond any beyond anything that you could think is credible, you know. I understand where I'm from in England, it takes some court cases can be in limbo for 12 years, you know. It's, it's just it's, it's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. So in terms of my pensions, well, you know, they'll be... I'll get them in the end, you know. They'll be going up in value, you know. What, what's the big deal, you know? 
be nice to know that things are clear. It'd be nice to get it all sorted. But, you know, if if the various providers can't do it in anything like a reasonable time, it's, it's no longer my problem because, you know, I've, I've got the money from the estate. It doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll just do it, you know. And that's, that's, that's what I think this long-term investment is, that, you know, the money's there, you just can't quite get hold of it yet. And I often illustrate this energy with, you know, I grow teak trees. And the teak is worth a fortune, but um, it take, take forever to grow, you know. I've also got some mahogany, and mahogany's not worth anything at the moment because it's a dark wood. But actually, Indonesian mahogany is light. It's dyed dark, but it's still it's still worthless at the moment. But I'm not going to n- cut the trees down just because they're worthless. You know, maybe they'll go up again. Maybe they never will. I don't know. But it's that sort of a thing we're talking of here. This is the exact energy we're talking of. Now, in the past, we have the energy of the Knight of Wands. He is brave, he is bold, he is fearless, but he does rush into things. I mean, you look at him, he's, he's on his horse, he's going quickly. He's rushing into battle, armed only with a stick. How do I interpret it, this in terms of the stupidity with my pensions? Well, you know, maybe I am naive in thinking that a provider ought to be able to sort out paying my pension given six months' notice, you know. Maybe it's a naivety on my behalf. I certainly know that I find myself unable to deal with many service providers Certainly in the UK, in the UK it's almost impossible because, you know, I've got a seven-hour time difference. They want to speak to me by phone, but it's, you know, I don't often have coverage in the mountains and it costs me a fortune, you know. Um, and, you know, if I'm put on hold, then it's, it's, it's yeah, get nowhere. But it's, it's because it's all call centre technology and that every time you call is treated as a separate event they don't they don't keep details on your case so you have to resolve everything in a single call and and resolve it quickly because they're on a time you know they're timed on it so i'm getting nowhere because of every time i approach them it's it's counted as a new approach you know yeah it makes no sense anyway And right now, you have cause for celebration. Cause for celebration with family and friends. Well, you know, as I say, in my circumstances, my parents' estate, I finally got the money for. You know, it's taken, as I say, two years. You know, nearly two years. But I've got it, you know. And so, yeah, I ought to thank the universe, thank Allah. Whoever you think, thank you, my ancestors, thank my mother and dad, you know. So I, I did ought to celebrate it, definitely. And also, I've just got back from Bali, um, and it's the first time I've been to Bali in five years. I used to go twice a year. But when the health crisis hit, and I, I couldn't go. It, effectively, I couldn't go. Effectively, I was tied to the island of Java, you know. And since it's been relaxed, it's been extremely expensive. Don't get me wrong, this is this is costing me four times as much as going to Bangkok. But, you know, we've not been in five years, so I'm rather looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm not going to spend all of my inheritance at once, but, you know, spend a little of it. Yeah, thank you. Now, in the future, you are going to be blessed. And I think it's because you've played these sort of somewhat trying situations, you know. Let's not talk about me for now. 
But these sort of trying situations that have been about money, they've been frustrating, these frustrations that you've been embroiled in. And the universe is rather pleased with how you've dealt with it, you know. You might not think you've dealt with it that well, you know. I'm, I'm sure you've got frustrated, but, you know, you have kept a level head. You have. And the universe is rather pleased with you. And so you're going to receive blessings in the long term and they're particularly going to be blessings about the family about security and happiness within your family now what leads to the outcome and the outcome isn't necessarily a good outcome it's probably just psychological <laughs> <coughs> but you won't think it's good at the time so what leads to the outcome is you having to work with others this is the sort of thing whereby you've got to work with others you each have your specialisms maybe it's just roles even but you, you each have these things that you have to do and therefore you know you've got to work with others but as I say the outcome doesn't look that great now if we're talking about me trying to claim my pensions there's nothing I can do I have to go through these intermediaries I have to go through these intermediaries that are set up using call centre technology even though it's getting me nowhere you know it's getting me absolutely nowhere but I've no choice you know how else do I claim my pension so yeah Well, I think the universe is saying, rather than fret about it, you know, yes, you've got to work with others, but rather than fret about it, just relax, you know, let this call centre technology rumble on it in its own time, you know, let it do what it thinks it's got to do, and ultimately you'll get your pension, it'll it won't be on time, like, <laughs> but you know. Nothing you can do about it. Go inside your head. Get Sort your head out. You be happy. It's nothing Nothing beats being happy. You be positive and we'll get through it all. You know, you, you will. And you might miss the odd opportunity, but hey, you know. Better that you're happy and better that you're positive. Anything else, you know. dreaded outcome well it's the five of pentacles which could mean that you're feeling as though you're in poverty feeling poor certainly could mean you're feeling like you've got no friends well i don't feel i've got any friends in the uk you know <laughs> every service provider i deal with seems seems to want to harm me in some sort of shape or form even the passport office you know <laughs> so I can understand that. I can understand that. Um, but, you know, it's psychological, isn't it? They, they don't mean any harm. You know, you look at the world, everybody's got jobs they hate. Nobody's given any authority whatsoever, you know. What have we done? You know, we, we, we say it's efficiency. How, how can it be efficient to be creating all these dissatisfied customers and dissatisfied Employees, of course, they, they run their surveys and it says everybody's happy, but it's because they don't, don't even give you the boxes to say how unhappy you really are, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's, it's psychological, isn't it? It's, if, if you can keep yourself happy, then this feeling of poverty. Yeah, I, I, I did expect my pension to begin when I got to my pension age, you know. Is that too much to ask? I also expected the UK government to be able to issue me with a passport so I could go and see my dying mother, you know, but... Hey, these are things of the past, aren't they? Respect for the individual, respect for the human being, it's all gone, hasn't it, yeah? So you've just got to, just got to go with the flow, really.
and I am going to get some clarity on this card. So, so what's what's brought about this this um, feeling of poverty? Well, it's a test of your boundaries, a test of your faith. To be perfectly honest with you, um, it's also the opening of m more wealth. I think more wealth than simply that which is tied up in this. A lot more wealth. And there's something karmic about it. Because you've put up with this adversity. You are going to be blessed by the universe. And if you remember, we did have that card of blessings as in the longer term. So why are you going through this feeling of poverty or even temporary phase of poverty it could be in my case I think it's just a feeling you know <coughs> or a feeling that money that you believed was yours is inaccessible to you well it's a test it's a test from the universe test from Allah test from God whatever way you want to see it but it's a test it's a test of your persistence a test that you're going to keep on going which is why it's so important that you keep positive about these things because if you keep positive it, it will get sorted you know it will get sorted as I say I've got my inheritance so I'm not in a massive rush now and as I say you know if I don't get this money in time well it's it's building up it doesn't matter so much you know so I just need to relax and let them get on with their completely completely inefficient well i guess the business processes they have aren't inefficient for them but for their customers they're completely inefficient it's it's as though a consultant has been brought in to extend the critical path as far as they possibly can i mean i i, I do sometimes wonder if it's been done on purpose so that i die before i ever get my pension and they save paying it out i don't know i really don't know And the suggestion here that new money is coming or new wealth is coming to you, and I don't think it's related to this money that's tied up, I think that's why there's a test. The universe is going to bless you with even more wealth than you know about, and it's going to come to you, providing you pass this test. You don't get too angry, you don't, well, what's the point in getting angry, but you know what I mean. You, you, you don't lose your positive vibes you don't lower your vibrations you'll be all right and that's why that test was there yeah i think absolutely confirming my view that even more wealth is coming to you than what you'd anticipated but you have to pass this test is we have this this um energy of karmic judgment so you're being judged and providing you pass the test then these benefits that i can see in the future you're going to receive so it's looking it's looking good for you leo it's looking very good for you i mean other tarot readers have been saying oh you've got big money coming for months and months and months well i think it's not even september you're going to get it it's after that you know it is coming it's coming for sure leo yeah don't forget to thank everybody most important leo this is all about wealth long-term wealth I know exactly, I'm a Leo, I know exactly what it means for me, but, you know, it'll mean something slightly different for you, but hopefully you can pick out what's relevant to you. <coughs> Take a long-term view, though, Leo. Take a long-term view. Be relaxed. Difficult, I know. Did you rush into something in the past? I'm not sure what you've rushed into. I'm not sure... But I think maybe, maybe you're a bit like me and you, you can't be bothered with finances and administration. You've got no time for it, you know. 
even when, even, you know, I've got no time for investments. It's it's too bureaucratic, you know. It's too much. Even my bank, you know, it's it. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just too much, too much garbage, you know. So I think you might have rushed into things a bit, but I don't know. Anyway, money has come your way, hasn't it? You've already got some. So, for goodness sake, celebrate and, and, and thank whoever you think is responsible, be it your ancestors, God, Allah, the universe, be certain you thank them. And you, you're tied up in things at the moment, tied up with others. And I don't think you're getting very far. I think you're finding it frustrating. It's a little like what I've just said about the bank and... You, yeah, you, 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 you're finding it frustrating. That you, you, I certainly, I, I, I no longer seem able to speak to other people. Um, you know, whether it be by email or text message or whatever, I, I just find it impossible to speak to people these days. Um, particularly people from North America, we use the same words to mean completely different things. I think it might be that it's just my generation, you know. I, I, I have a longer time, time span than young people. Um, I, I think behind things, you know, I'm not. I'm. It's not a black. Nothing is black and white for me. Everything is a shade of grey. In fact, I enjoy the digression. I enjoy the running around, you know, as I do in my tarot readings, as you know. I just find it impossible and this has led to delays in you getting some wealth but this is a test re <coughs> <coughs> it's a test of you from the universe God, Allah whatever you see it as and as long as you can react by being positive everything's going to be fine but yeah things have been delayed and you're, you're feeling you're feeling a bit annoyed about it, you know. Um, and, as I say, it's a test because of the universe is actually going to bless you with even more wealth than you know about. More wealth is coming. It's karmic, if you like, for all you've been through, Leo. Um, and it's going to lead to... It's going to be, come to you in a very family type of way. It's going to give you sort of security and happy families and everything. And it's a reward, you know, you've been putting in hard, hard work, karmic work. You've even been solving long-term karmic issues, haven't you? And the universe is going to really reward you. Now, it's not even going to happen in September, Leo. It's, it's after September you get the big reward, but it's coming. Don't worry, Leo, it's coming. 